Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So um, I've got 12.0.2 installed on my machine and um, in this latest release, the good people at Siemens have made some big changes to how we measure stuff. In older versions of NX, we had several measuring types, right? Measure angle, uh, distances, all sorts of ways to measure. There was a simple measure, etc., etc. You wanted to measure a volume or a body, you had to go pick a different tool and everything was kind of broken up. Now if you look under the analysis tab here, um, you'll see I have measure. If I look at this little down arrow over here, I have measure extreme, there's measure radius, and then the screen distances and angles and local radius. You'll see there is basically a, a very truncated list of measuring tools. They've done away with most of them and combined them into one called measure. When I click on this, it's, uh, it is profoundly different than what you are used to. So if anybody's been on the system for any length of time, you'll, you'll be completely taken aback by how this works because it's so different. You'll see here there's a list. And this list is basically the things that you have selected because I can pick one, two, three, 10, 15 different things that'll appear in this list. You'll see up at the top, objects to measure. I have object, I can measure a point, a measure along a vector, object sets, point sets to a CSIS. I'm not going to cover all of these because it's just too much. But just to give you the basics of how this works is you'll come down after you specify what you want to measure or the type of object. You have measurement method, so you have free, then you also have pairs of objects, and then chain as well as uh, from a reference object. So um, this is nice because this gives you various options on how you want to do your measurements. Like for example, if I come over here and say from a reference object, and I want to measure a distance because this is my results filter so I have to tell it the type of measurement that I want as well. I want to turn off body and I want to turn off others. I'm just going to measure a distance, uh, turn on associative and I'm going to start out with, we'll pick this datum plane. You'll notice object one, next object. Okay so I'm going to come down and pick um, let's say the center line of this or the center point of this edge or I'll just pick the face and you'll see it measures down to the face. Now I'm going to pick to this face, and you'll see it. the first object is the base element. So it's measuring to this face, measuring to this face, um, measuring to the next face, etc. So um, you have some really nice options to get a chain of measurements. Like this is from reference. This one will give you a chain of objects. So it'll go from one object to the next object to the next object, which I'll demonstrate here. So if I come in here and pick, let's say, let me just cancel this out measure. I'm going to pick from this face and oops, I need to tell it chain of objects. You'll see a nice little hint that pops up here as well. So you're not uh, completely um, uh, swinging in the wind. It gives you some uh, some little uh, indicators. So I'll go to the next object and I'll go to the next object. Oh, I forgot to change this to, I did hit cancel. You'll notice I just hit distance and it went and it just knows the objects that I have and it just basically switched it from this face to this face, this plane, and then from this plane to this face, and then this face to this face over here. So I can switch the type of uh, measurement that I'm doing on the fly and it'll uh, appropriately adjust what I have on the screen. You'll notice these little flags that come up here I have minimum distance, maximum distance, if I need a maximum distance, um, which I don't have anything here to show maximum distance because everything is planar. And um, you'll see I have my list of objects that I have picked to measure. If I come in here and want to remove one of these, I just pick it and remove it. I can also change the order of the measurements. So if I delete one, you'll notice that it got rid of that one in the chain and now it knows it needs to go from this object to this object. And if I decide I need to pick something else, if I come over here and say I want to pick this face, you'll see that the measurement that it's making comes from this face back over to here because this is the order of my objects. If I come over here and change this, say move up one, you'll notice that the measurement changed. Now it's coming from object two to what would be the fifth object that I have selected. So it takes a minute to get used to but once you understand what it's asking and what it's doing and how it's doing things, um, it's 
incredibly powerful. You've done a great, great job, Siemens. Thank you so much for this. Um, and again, uh, under settings, you know, you can turn on the associativity. You can display the annotation if you want to see it. You can uh, send it out to the con NX console, um, as well as, you know, if you're doing some programming. And then you also can show the uh, information window. Um, I'm just going to select OK. Uh, information window pops up. And you'll see I have all of my measurements and explains what my inputs are. Uh, let me close that. Here are my measurements. The displays of the measurements now uh, also something that they've uh, changed, made them much, much better. You can see them through the part. Uh, you have the little flags there. So it's nice, right? Let's move it if I want to move it. Pretty easy. I don't have to double click on it to activate it. Um, if, I, if I single click on it, you'll see it stays highlighted like all other objects indicating where it's pointing to. You'll see I have one measurement in the, in the uh, part navigator. You'll also notice that I have all of my measured distances here as well. So uh, if I double click on this, I go back right back to that menu and I can make whatever modifications I want to to that menu um, and so on. So they've given you a lot of capability. Now, um, other measurement types, just real quickly, because I don't want to spend too much time on this at the moment, is if I go back under measure, maybe I want to measure the body, right? I'm going to turn off distance. And if I, if I come over here, you'll see it wants to pick a single face. I'll wait, pick my body. And then once I pick my body, you'll see it's going to come up and say, all right, you know, what are the type of measurements that you want? Right now, it's looking at a, uh, there's a chain of objects. So if I come over here and say uh, singular measurement, you'll note that the uh, information now pops up because I'm saying it's a singular or it's free. In other words, it's not looking for a chain. It's not looking to measure from body to body. So in this case, you'll see these are all of the various uh, measures that I have set. So if I take this, let me bring this up, and I open this up a little bit, you'll see here I can create the geometry. This is center of gravity. You have um, different things. If you have requirements for the measurement, you can turn things on and off. Display as an annotation, turn that display on or off. If I look under preferences here, you'll see under, um, there's, uh, there's general, this is just the, the settings. Do you want to see the X, Y, Z delta values if you pick a point? Or uh, you can, basically, you want to see reference coordinates, individual coordinate expressions. You can have all that stuff set up. Euler angles can be shown. If I look under measurement, this is what I get for point. This is what I get for curve and edge. This is for faces and for bodies. So you can turn on and off what you want to see here as well for the type of measurement under the settings. Um, calculation accuracy, so you can tighten up that accuracy if you need to. And this is just the display. Hit OK. And um, you know this is just that hints here in the middle. I would recommend turning that on. It can be a little cryptic at, cryptic at times when you're reading it, but uh, they're pretty useful once you understand what it's asking or saying. So leave it on, pay attention to it, and, and use it. Like I said, there's <clears throat> so many other things that I can show in this measurement tool because it's taken everything and combined them, but uh, I, I could spend half a day on it. Um, I just wanted to at least give you uh, an indication that the measurement tool has changed. Some people aren't going to get this until they get uh, um, into 1202 because that's when it does appear. But um, it, it's changed. That's definitely for the better. And um, I really, I'm very grateful. I, I know this was a lot of work. I know this was a lot of work. So I'm very grateful that they did it because it, it made uh, the ability to measure much better, much quicker. Other things, just you know, other things that you can do. Let me go ahead and hit OK. You know, if I if I look at the dimension, you know, you can do the edit display on the dimension. You can hide it. You have all the capabilities here, of uh, you know, because it's seen as another uh, element. You can put it into groups, and you can. It's just they did a great job. Um, here's that surface, uh, the surface area, body. Uh, center of gravity, all sorts of stuff. Everything, everything is there that I l had listed in that window. So, great job! Thank you very much, people at Siemens. Greatly appreciate it. Um, hope you learned something. If you did, please like the video, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.